I went to my first WWE event in about almost two years and my very first NXT event. NXT's Halloween Havoc in Hershey, PA this past Sunday. I want to give you my thoughts, reviews, and the full experience on what went down at Halloween Havoc. It was a great time. We live in Philly, so Hershey, PA is about an hour, 45, hour, 50 minute drive. I decided to check StubHub to see what tickets were available. We actually ended up getting really, really good seats. We were at the very bottom of the seating, first row, sections, first two seats in the row right off of the floor i couldn't have asked for better seats the cool thing is within the nxt halloween havoc show you can kind of see us in the background i had this black and orange 1989 wcw halloween havoc shirt on so you can kind of catch us in the background especially during the oba and tony d matches and the trick versus ethan page match as a wrestling fan and kind of as a wannabe vlogger of wrestling content and content creation within the wrestling world, I was super unprepared for the whole NXT live event Halloween Havoc atmosphere of the whole thing. Didn't bring the title, which I should have because there was a lot of cool people with a lot of cool titles around. I should have, should have brought my Wing Eagle belt, but I didn't. There's a lot of people in cosplay and dress up for Halloween in general. We saw some Spider-Mans. I saw a little kid dressed as Wolverine, which was really cool. I saw a fantastic Bray Wyatt cosplay while I was waiting in line for actually this shirt. We saw a very good Mick Foley walking across us. I saw some Rhea Ripley's, Uncle Howdy's. thought the overall environment and the crowd going into the Hershey um, Arena, I think it's the Giant Center, was amazing. Everyone was very excited for the show and it was just good vibes all around. In terms of crowd reactions live, Trick Williams was heads and shoulders above everyone else. When Trick's music hit, the place went absolutely nuts. Obafemi's aura is crazy. Julia, Stephanie Vakar, their entrances were great. The biggest boos and biggest bad crowd reactions definitely went to Ray Talon. He had a couple segments throughout the night and he got crazy amounts of heat throughout the whole night. Other moments was during the Chase versus Ray Talon match. The crowd really wanted the pumpkins near the ambulance to get involved. And when it did, the place went absolutely nuts. <laughs> They also went nuts again when the Trick Williams Ethan Page spot with the pumpkin on the head happened. Absolutely crazy. Other big moments was Oba and Tony D going through the ladder outside the ring. What? What? <laughs> Trick Williams getting put through the table. <laughs> the Roxanne, Cora J versus Julia and Stephanie match. A lot of good spots, a lot of oohs and ahs within the crowd for that. I think the only probably downside, and it wasn't even completely throughout the match, was the Fatal Influence versus Kalani match. I think the first two falls with Kalani, the crowd really wasn't fully into it. The 450 Splash got them into it. And then when Kalani versus Fallon Henley got into it, that's when the crowd picked up towards the end of that match. But overall, I think each match had the crowd invested and we were totally into it the whole night. Another plus was Bubba Ray Dudley was in the crowd doing some pre-show stuff and even middle of the show stuff. He got a good pop throughout the night. He got a big pop when he came in and made the save for Trick Williams after the championship match and main event. I liked it. He got a good pop. He didn't really get in the way. He let Trick still have his moment at the end. And even when the cameras kind of went off, Trick was still around with the music, getting the crowd involved. Good shout for Bubba Ray showing up. Being as though this was my first kind of vlog attempt as being a wrestling content creator, I don't know how much footage I got. I got a lot of footage of the match in the arena and stuff, so I'll show that just throughout this video. But I need to do more background stuff and arena stuff. And I'm hoping to do at least one or two more shows this year and get a couple more videos done for that overall experience for NXT's Halloween Havoc. I'll give it a 9 out of 10. 
the vibes were great. The matches were great. The arena was great. Even the drive back and forth, back to home was solid. Definitely go again. I love NXT. If you're here, subscribe to the channel. There will be more wrestling vlogs and wrestling content around vlogs coming soon. Follow me on all socials, threads, Instagram, TikTok, at notnick underscore s. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out the video. Put it in the comments. Would you rate NXT's Halloween Havoc? Let me know. 1 through 10.